The C4D profiler for PowerChrome software helps you to decide the best C4D settings for the background electrolyte which you're using. You should connect your C4D system to the computer and turn on the C4D system, then open the PowerChrome software, click on manual run, you should click start and give a file name. You should then click on stop and in the menu windows choose C4D profiler. You have various options. You can run with the head stage gain on, the head stage gain off, or do both. Fast scan does every other frequency and amplitude, meaning it's four times as fast. So you should put a capillary in the head stage and inject your background electrolyte into the capillary and when you're ready to run you click start. What the software is doing is testing different frequencies at different amplitudes. So it's starting at 20%, now it's 40%, and it's recording the detector's response. It's starting with the head stage gain off. These are the green plots, and once it's finished those, it will run with the head stage gain on. These will be the blue plots. Once the software is finished, you'll have a series of plots where the software has analysed different frequencies at different amplitudes. These are the ones with the head stage gain off. These are the ones with the head stage gain on. This shaded part is where the detector has saturated. You should ignore any plots that go into this area. You should now dilute your background electrolyte by about 5% using deionized water and inject it into the capillary. Once you're ready to do the second scan, you click start again. And once again, the software will draw its plots. When the software is finished, you'll have another series of plots. And you can compare those by clicking in the tabs down here. Tab number three is the diluted background electrolyte. Tab number two is the undiluted background electrolyte. And if I click between them, you can see they're very similar. What you want to do is click the diluted background electrolyte and set this as the background. You then choose your undiluted background electrolyte and you want to see the difference. What this has done is subtracted the diluted background electrolyte from the undiluted background electrolyte and shown the difference. You'll have to expand the plot here. The best C4D settings are the ones which give you the biggest change in response, the difference between the background electrolyte and the diluted background electrolyte. In this plot you can see it's this point here. This was conducted at 1200 kHz at 80% with the head stage gain on. These values should be entered into the C4D window. You should click on Start. Hardware settings, C4D amplifier, and in here the frequency you choose 1200 kHz. The amplitude should be 80% with the head stage gain on. These are the settings you should use for your experiments.